In this module, we are going to discuss about the application of non-invasive ventilation. Non-invasive ventilation, as you are very well aware, that it is the augmentation of ventilation without a conduit access to the airway, that means without an endotracheal tube or without a tracheostomy tube. It has a lot of advantages. The, you don't put a tube inside, so there is no side effect of tube. Patient can speak, patient can swallow. The, you don't require sedation, patient can be mobilized. The chances of getting ventilator associated pneumonia are also less. So the learning objective of my talk are to learn the indications and contraindication of non-invasive ventilation, to learn the various ventilators which can be used for non-invasive ventilation, to understand various modes which are very peculiar to non-invasive ventilation and to learn how to apply non-invasive ventilation on the bedside and to learn the complication of NIV and their solutions. There are four conditions where the evidence in support of the use of NIV is very high and they are acute exacerbation of COPD, weaning patients that also in COPD patients, cardiogenic pulmonary edema, acute cardiogenic pulmonary edema and acute respiratory failure in immunocompromised patient. The evidence is less but it has been used in certain conditions like acute respiratory failure in obstructive sleep apnea or obesity hypoventilation syndrome, mild ARDS, post-operative respiratory failure, pre-intubation oxygenation. It is part of the intubation bundle. Patients are given pre-intubation oxygenation with NIV to ease out the process of intubation. Traumatic patients with the epidural analgesia, the NIV could have a very good role in certain patients who are suffering from the chest trauma during bronchoscopy, endoscopy, the non-invasive ventilation can be used. Then it has a use in uh, COPD, but its role in asthma is not that much. Most of the studies have not shown good efficacy of non-invasive ventilation in asthma. Although it could still be used in patients of asthma when they do not respond to medical therapy or patient who have irreversible disease and are behaving like COPD, there you can use like you use in COPD. But asthma per se, the non-invasive ventilation has not been found to be very useful. Then